Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Justice served. Sarah finally got last laugh on Michelle Wolf four months after nasty attack. Remember how comedian Michelle Wolf disgracefully treated White House press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders at the White House correspondence dinner? Wolf was simply vicious towards Sanders, who was the epitome of class during the whole sordid, nasty attack. Wolf then landed a show on Netflix where she went on to try and shred Sanders even more along with other conservative leaders. She infamously held a salute to abortion on her show as well. Her show debuted four months ago. Fast forward to today. Wolf's ratings were so abysmal Netflix officially pulled the plug on her short-lived talk show The Break with Michelle Wolf. I don't know what Netflix was thinking. The woman's voice was like nails on a chalkboard and she wasn't in the least funny. Just downright mean. Justice is served and it did not take long either. Sarah got the last laugh after all. Good for her. In fact, you could say America got the last laugh. Wolf was previously a correspondent on The Daily Show and a writer for Late Night with Seth Meyers. It's just my opinion, but she's a terrible comic and I don't sense any talent forthcoming from this woman. Perhaps I just haven't seen enough of her. I certainly plan on keeping it that way. Wolf notoriously compared first daughter and White House adviser Ivanka Trump to herpes, made a satirical video linking ICE to ISIS while impersonating Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, and celebrated abortions in honor of Independence Day with a parade and marching band. Tacky and insensitive does not quite cut it here. I know. She should team up with Kathy Griffin and hit the road. Preferably out of the country. Wolf's show aired weekly and lasted 10 episodes, the last one airing July 29. Wolf has yet to make a public statement on her show's cancellation. I'm not surprised over that. What do you say? My show sucked so I got cancelled? That hardly seems to be a statement that will be forthcoming from a surely embarrassed Wolf. However, it is accurate. Netflix has had mixed results in their late night programming. David Letterman's program My Next Guest Needs No Introduction appears to be doing well in comparison to Wolf's program. I have no idea why. Meanwhile, the streaming service also cancelled Chelsea Handler's talk show Chelsea last year. That was a well-deserved cancellation as well. It was another liberal hate fest. Perhaps Netflix should reconsider the type of shows they are airing before they go out of business. Just a thought. Makes you wonder about the type of people on the board of directors at Netflix. Daily Show alum Hassan Minaj is set to debut his show Patriot Act with Hassan Minaj on Netflix this fall along with Norm MacDonald, who has a show in The Fix, a comedy panel show starring Jimmy Carr, Catherine Ryan, and D.L. Hughley. Hassan Minaj was a senior correspondent on The Daily Show, which he joined in 2014. Minaj was the featured speaker at the 2017 White House Correspondents' Dinner. I detect a trend by Netflix. They evidently are slow to learn what Americans watch and it won't be the Sky's show even if it does have the word Patriot in the title. And in another shocker, The Daily Beast reported late Friday night that the writing staff and showrunners of The Break with Michelle Wolf found out about their show's cancellation on Twitter. Classy. Netflix should have more integrity than to pull something like that. None of us can believe how classlessly Netflix has handled this, a source connected to the show told The Daily Beast after the news broke noting that the entire writing staff and even the showrunners found out they had been fired on Twitter. Mike Huckabee astutely stated, You know, comedians are supposed to be funny, they're supposed to make us laugh. I love satire, it's one of my favorite forms of comedy, but her form of comedy is not satire, it's angry, bitter hate. Yes, it is but it's no longer on Netflix at least. Michelle Wolf will be pounding the internet pavement looking for work it seems. Even with President Trump's booming economy, I hear the market for washed-up comedians is non-existent. Wolf was so confident she could say anything she wanted, no matter how vile or untrue, and get away with it that she literally opened her pie hole one too many times and apparently not even Netflix could stomach the blowback over her vitriolic jokes. I imagine there are a whole bunch of deplorables out that just got an actual laugh over this development. It's probably the most laughter Wolf has seen in forever. Just saying. Conservative voices do matter and just as with Kathy Griffin, Michelle Wolf is finding that out the hard way. You shouldn't tick off and insult at least half of your audience. Actually being funny might help as well. Ironically, Wolf recently garnered an Emmy nomination for her HBO comedy special titled Nice Lady. She's definitely not even close to that. Netflix seems to be no longer so thrilled with Michelle Wolf and her 15 minutes of infamy just expired. Who saw that coming? Conservatives did. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like 
and subscribe. Thank you.